your boy down low back for another reply. But before then, let's talk about something that's going on in the music industry, man. So, the fallout over Afro Man slapping the fan on stage and such, man, that continues to fall. which I didn't get the chance to talk about it. But for those of you who haven't seen it, man, it's pretty fucking hilarious. Like, he slaps the shit out of a fan on stage. And then comes back and continues to play the guitar. And the first thing I thought is like, nigga, you are not fucking Rick James. Like, that's something Rick James could have got away with, man, back in the 80s. Not your ass. With only having one damn song that anybody fucking recognizes. So he already got arrested and such. He's going to get put into a program. And now they're taking away all of his tour dates. And that's all to be expected. But anyway, on to today's reply. Today's reply is to that T.I. and Young Thug, that offset in which this is... Pretty much another song off that Fast and Furious soundtrack that's supposed to be dropping along with the movie and such. In which I've heard all of the songs that leaked so far and they all have the same things in common, man. They all some energy driven type tracks to go along with what we pretty much expect the movie to be like because they took this movie franchise and turned it into like a super adrenaline junkie blockbuster unbelievable bullshit type movie. And this song is no exception to that concept. I mean, I will say one thing when I looked at it on paper, I'm like, okay, Young Thug is probably going to fuck this all the way up, when he didn't. Honestly, it was pretty decent to keep it 100. Like, that beat had some energy to it. It was cool. And T.I. and Young Thug, they both did I right. I definitely believe it is worth a listen, man, but it's nothing phenomenal. Just like the movie is not going to be anything phenomenal. But go ahead and peep that, man. But anyway, on to today's article from DownloadPath.com. And today's article is about giving a fuck when it's not your time to give a fuck. Which this is one of my favorite quotes from the HBO series The Wire where it pretty much perfectly defines how these entities like the music industry to even law enforcement and all of that shit, where it all goes wrong. Because you got a lot of people within these industries, man, that's only focused on not pissing people off and trying to keep their jobs and careers alive instead of pursuing things that they are really passionate about. See, the show The Wire was focused on police trying to get high-end drug arrests and such, man, but yet the people on top weren't passionate about that, man. They just wanted to keep their job in order for them to rise amongst the ranks, which led to a lot of shitty fucking police work. And you can see that same thing happening in the music industry, man. So many A&Rs and people with influence in the game, man. They so focused on trying to rise and continue their careers and shit. Instead of trying to put out the best possible artist that's out there, putting out the best possible music. Because people on top who don't know what the fuck they doing, or they do and they just want to make music shitty, they focus on the bullshit. And everybody in between just go with it so that they can keep their fucking jobs. And that's why the game really be fucked up, dude. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there. And you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.